What it do? It's your boy J. Reed. We here with another banker for y'all. So Beyonce is running into some problems with the Internal Revenue Service. That is the IRS for y'all right there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. She got hit with some taxes. That's why she's gearing up for goddamn this world tour that she's just trying to put out. She ain't did no visuals for the project. She just dropped this surprise project in the last, what, since 2016, Lemonade, about seven, eight years, with eight years ago. We also tried to drop, decided to drop this album right here and decided to go on tour. And she got tax problems. And so ironic of her. So, well, she did the Lion King thing and she did the Lemonade. Well, okay, it's about six years since she did the project. Uh, so she decided to do the Renaissance, you know, and now she got to do this world tour. And I'm thinking, like, why is Beyonce going on world tour? Like, Beyonce got should have plenty of money. Like, well, usually when artists go on world tour, they go broke. They 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 got they got to pay some bills. They got to pay some bills. Like they in debt. Like they they you know they got some you know some fees they got to take care of. You know they're not as rich as they think they are. You know I know Beyonce. Jay Z, they know. I know they probably like the Medici family, like the royal family of America, and nobody says nothing negative about it. And it's very strange to me. Like everybody always got something positive to say about them. I just find it very bizarre and unusual. You know, I'm not alluding to no Illuminati or anything of that nature. I'm not gonna go as far as to say that. But I just fear nobody got nothing negative to say about Jason Beyonce. Or if they do their videos and all that get taken down. So Beyonce owed nearly two point seven million back in taxes from twenty eighteen and nineteen. She now decided to file a petition disputing the claim. Uh you know, the fashion icon filed a petition in April and also requested a trial over the matter in Los Angeles. Uh that's why. I mean, she's doing the world tour. She's going to uh, Greece. You know, she's going to Germany, Australia. And I'm like, she's 41 years old, you know, and that's still young. But, I mean, she's no spring chicken. Like, a world tour, like, that is the waning and your vocal cords is going to be stressed. Like, you know, the there's nothing nobody really wants to do. Like, Beyonce made hundreds of millions of dollars. Like, why are you even still really singing like that? Like, apparently she need the money. Apparently she's in dire need of cash. Jay-Z and Beyonce is not as wealthy as we think they are. I don't believe they are. I think it's all media hype. This shit right here, though. It, it, it can't be as wealthy as they are for her to do this right this too right here. Something is got to be wrong. Glaring, glaring red flags with this right here. Larry and Red Flash, she's always winning Grammys and this, that, and the third. Uh, and, you know, she donates a lot to charity. I guess they do that to keep the IRS off them. But their Kenoda net worth is $3 billion, allegedly. And the Destiny Child's album net worth is $650 million. And, you know, Jay's one of the wealthiest rappers himself, though. So, uh, I just find it more, you know, uh, you know, and our Jay Z also made a quote in 2011. Jay Z, he said, and you know, he said that he told CNN that he would pay more taxes if the money went to helping the less fortunate. I wouldn't mind paying more taxes if it would bring the bring to the things that really matter. You know, the education to the poor people in poverty. I wouldn't mind entrepreneur Sean Carter finding. Uh, he awarded three million in scholarships to disadvantaged students. Said, "I think most people with a conscience with the cemetery and moral fiber wouldn't have any problem paying more taxes." Find more money. I understand paying some taxes. Things are not improving. Uh, well, of course, things are not improving because the certain this the powers that be to handle the government is not helping and stretching the money to do things. They they put money. They're not helping money in the communities and getting the research for cancer and patients and helping these schools and rehab centers and community centers for the kids to do. They don't have nothing for children to do. And that's why I feel like the money's not doing it. They're not helping bringing black teachers and teaching about real black history or anything to help anybody. They're just buying guns and drugs with the money and, and destroying the money. That's what I believe. Uh, but, I mean, you know, I just don't think Beyonce is really rich as she is. I think it's been a lot of cap. I mean, the artist she signed ain't doing much musically. Chloe and Bailey's not breaking numbers. They're not selling and breaking streaming numbers. Hell, they just they're just more famous of being a celebrity. Uh, 
throw it. I, I look at it like this is the major L right here. Like, why is he doing this tour like this? Like, I mean, if she beat the IRS or whatever, though, this is very, very going to be undefeated, man. Like, you know, I mean, she has one of the craziest fan bases in history, the, the Beehive. Uh, they cancel people. Like, the, this Beehive, that the worship and the idolizing of Beyonce is like, this is incredible. This is some unheard of shit. I, I've never seen anything like this. She creates pandemonium. Beyonce and Jay-Z can't even go nowhere. Like, they, they got to been, they've been quarantining, social distancing before this COVID shit. Like, so their lifestyles of this rock star lifestyle, the rich and famous, I don't even think it's glamour. I don't even think it's what it's all cracked up to be. Because everything that glitter doesn't go. Uh, but it, it, it just seemed a little fishy to me that why would she all of a sudden want to do this? You know, why would any artist, like, why wouldn't you retire? Like, bow out gracefully. You would anything else. You already broke every record musically in the wars. You won multiple, got over, you got most Grammys ever. Why, why are you still doing this, though? It, it, apparently, she, she owes somebody, man. The label's in debt, man. I'm, I mean, a lot of these artists die in debt. You know, the artists that you don't see pop out or make music no more are the ones that have financial freedom. You know? I mean, of course, you know, her PR team is going to, you know, paint this up. Uh, you know, the her PR team is probably one of the best because they're, you know, she's not going to say anything. Beyonce doesn't do interviews, her and Jay-Z no more. She's not going to speak on this. Her PR team is definitely going to clean this up. Uh, I mean, I never get it wrong, though. It's, it's amazing to me how they go after black people, but they never go after any of these white people. I so I see it. And they're supposed to be billionaires right here. You know, these are supposed to be multi-billionaires, but we'll see, man. If she beat the IRS, bro, she's got to be the people's champ, world champion. Like, she's a world-class fighter. But we all like, comment, subscribe to the video. Y'all tap in. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. I'm out.